Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Just get hot in here? Dude, my heart's racing. I have no idea what's going on. You know what? I think I, I'm, I'm just gonna lay down. I'm just gonna try to sleep this off and we'll see what happens. Alright, good night YouTube. Whoa, where am I? Wait, it, that can't be. What? What is that? Are you... Like, me? Nah, there's no way. I'm hotter. Listen, man, I'm not here to pick a fight with you, but I I just, I have no idea how I got here or what's going on, so... What year is it right now, anyway? This, this room doesn't look like how I left it. What you mean what year it is? It's like, 20... Shit. Man, what day is it? I'm high as fuck. It's like, 2018, 2019, something like that. I don't know, man. And how old are you exactly? Man, I'm 15 years old. Oh gosh. Okay. Wow. This this is insane. I'm I'm literally talking to myself. Well, I mean, while I'm here, I guess the least I can do is maybe fill you in on some things if you really want to know about it. I mean, you have a quite bumpy road ahead of you for the next couple years. Let me just tell you that, because you just started high school, right? Yeah, that shit sucks, bro. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna tell you right now. Just stop being a dumbass. Go to your classes. Don't skip school literally every single day for the first half of the year until they kick you out. My next piece of advice would be be a little bit nicer to the principals. I mean, they do kind of have a reason to be mad at you, especially that one time that you literally smoked a cigarette in the bathroom. I know middle school already happened, so you already got kicked out of that school district once, so I mean, that should have been a lesson for you, but I'm telling you right now, by the end of that year, you get kicked out again and sent to another school for like another two years, so I'm telling you, please just be good this time. Just do what you have to do, finish school out there, graduate. Also, you're not as cool as you think. Every time that you run around the halls flipping teachers off, cussing people out, just screaming and being a dumbass, you're making an ass out of yourself and everybody's actually laughing at you and not with you. Also, do not try to fit in with the popular kids. All those popular athletes that you're gonna, that you've been, you've been trying for all the middle school as is, but you're gonna keep trying to do it and you're gonna make an even bigger ass out of yourself in the process. So just realize that like 90% of the people at your school are dumbasses and are going nowhere with their life and are straight pieces of shit and you should not be associating with them, let alone trying to fit in with them. It is just not worth your time. Focus on you, dude. Listen, bitch, I do what I want, huh? Gang, gang, what's up? Take everybody's advice. Your music actually really does suck ass and, like, work on it because I'm telling you, a few years later, you do actually get pretty good at it. But right now, stop talking like you're hot shit. You really aren't. Man, my shit's fire. What you mean, dude? I'm better than everybody, man. I tell you, I'm better than, like, Lil Xan, Lil Pump. I'm better than them, man. I'm a god. I'm already in the rap game. I got like five listens on my SoundCloud song, dude. Everybody loves it. It don't matter if it's off beat. I ain't even off beat. You're off beat. You're off beat for thinking I'm off beat, bro. Dude, ba da 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 da. Also, it's okay to be single. Stop dating so many girls. And also, please just, just keep your pants zipped up for for the, for the love of God. Please, you're going to catch something. Luckily, we, me, you, we, we never do, but like, seriously, you are a manho. Stop. Also, you should probably stop being on social media and just talking smack on literally anybody that even looks at you wrong. It is really making you look so stupid. All right, that's fine. Just one more though. I gotta get this right out real quick. Hey, listen, bitch, if you- I mean, personally, I don't, I don't even go on social media nowadays. We, we, you, me, we don't go on social media anymore nowadays besides posting these YouTube videos, right? But, uh, yeah, you, you kind of talk a lot of shit on Snapchat. You post at least five times a day posting minute-long things ranting about whoever's pissing you off, and you use their name. You use their names. You start posting screenshots to text. You are a very toxic person, and also all those drugs you're doing, those are not getting you anywhere. Just stop with the pills. Stop with the other stuff, and just just, just stop. It's, it's, it's not worth it. Man, I have no idea what you mean. I will let you get fucked up with the boys, yo. Also, when that one girl breaks your heart, please do not throw that phone. It, it, you do not want to do that. You end up losing so much music and so many lyrics over it, it is not worth it. I know she pissed you off, but please, you're, you're going to leave this school and you are going to look at the corner of the brick wall. Please do not throw that phone. That, it, Dude, just don't do it. it. It devastates you. Also, towards the end of this year, you are going to date a literal psychopath. This girl is nearly insane. 
stay away from her at all costs. It happens when you go to this new school and it ends up being your last girlfriend for years because me at this point, I've still been single since then. Uh, please just stay away from her. You will know when you see her. Just stay away. I'll get with whoever I want. If she thick, she mine, bro. Besides that, I mean, nothing else really happens in your life for a while. I mean, towards the end of 10th grade, you end up moving to Florida, and after that, your life kind of goes blank for a bit. You just kind of stay inside Hermit, play video games, then you start... Then that's when you decide to do daily uploads on YouTube, and that's basically what you do for the next couple of years. Uh, to this day, I mean, that's still what I've, I've been doing. I've been doing it for the past two years. I literally upload every single day. I refuse to miss a day. And it's, it's actually going pretty good. Like, at, at this point, me, we, our channel's doing pretty good. It's, it's going up. We've had more video ideas going out lately. We've been doing a lot more. We've been branching out. It's been a lot of fun. So, I mean, once you start, definitely stick with it. There's going to be a few times that you get discouraged for sure. And there's going to be a lot of times where you're actually about to delete your channel. But thank God you don't do it and you stick with it. Just, just fight the urge to quit. Just fight the urge to quit and keep pushing on, man. I... Maybe, maybe I can do that. And my last piece of advice, honestly, just because you're at, I mean, if, if I could have talked to you just a little bit earlier, like when you were still in middle school, I could have given you a whole lot more, but since you're a freshman year, I mean, you don't got a whole lot to look out for really, man. Just like I said, just stay away from the social media, stay away from the crazy girls, get out of that drug gang, gang, gang life. It ain't going to get you nowhere. Once you move to Florida, just do your YouTube thing and stick to you, man. But in 2021, you're going to have a bit of a scare, but since I'm telling you about it now, hopefully you can reverse it. So you are going to struggle with anorexia for about two years, but what I want you to do is to fight it. And anytime you have a plate full of food, I want you to demolish that shit. And you are just going to stay healthy. Do not take the same path I want. So I will tell you, I've been recovering for about five months now, and I feel amazing compared to how I did a few months ago, but the damage you did to yourself up to that point, you still feel it. I, me, we still, I still feel it to this day. So I'm telling you, it is not worth it. Please just keep yourself healthy. And besides that, just I, I hope I helped you. I hope I, I I'm I'm hoping that this will help guide you in the right direction because you have a very dark year coming ahead of you. Just please keep your head up and don't be stupid. Damn. Now I'm actually sitting here, bro. You got me on that stoner shit. I'm thinking, like, what happens if I do get with that girl? Is it as bad as you say? Like, I don't know. And what about the boys? I, I got beat her with the boys in Florida. Man, I'm, I can't even comprehend half of this, man. Getting kicked out of school again, though, that kind of work. I do be kind of hating that school. I mean, I don't... You got me thinking. Do I... I mean, I ain't really thought about fucking my life up, but, like, now after seeing you, I don't really know. This, this shit's tricking, you know? I mean, I... Man, I don't know. I'm glad, man. Hopefully, I... I, I I'm just I'm just hoping I can get you on the right path. You know? I think I gotta say thank you. But at the same time, I think I gotta say fuck off, man. It's that back to the future logic. You can't fuck with the timeline. You know what I mean? Because, like, what if there's something that's supposed to happen and then it won't happen? You know what I mean? Maybe you need a hit of the cush. You need to be on my level. Sometimes bad shit do, do be gotta happen to, like, you, you know what I mean? Oh. Well, um, that's unfortunate. I, I guess that is kind of true, though. I mean, yeah, there, there's character arcs and character development to be had in there, so maybe you're right. But uh, just, just please be smart. Don't give up. I don't know if this is an alternate timeline where worse things could happen or if this is just the same timeline repeating, but just be safe, my man. I'm going to try to head back to my dimension now, so peace out. All right, man. Travel safe through whatever fucking worm's butthole you came through to get here, man. Uh, yeah. Shit, got me thinking. Alright, is he gone? Good. Man, that, that guy was fucking weird. There's no way I look like that ape-ass looking nerd, bro. I'm, I hit my joints like it's nothing, man. I'm a fucking loser. Yo, let me hit up the boys. We're gonna play some COD, bro. Hey, yeah, this is just for a skit for a video. Nah, man, I'm literally recording this video on my phone right now, so I don't have another phone for me to do this skit with, so I'm using a big old iPad, but you get the gist. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna play COD. We're gonna get fucked up. I got a crazy story to tell you, man. Some guy from the future. I don't believe it, man. Did you lace my shit with something? <sighs> Alright, same thing as before. Let's go to sleep and see what happens. <sighs> Nighty night. Whoa. Okay. Everything looks normal again. Um, did I, did I do it? Oh, no other me's in sight. I guess I did it. Well, this, uh, this took a strange turn. For the worst or the better, I don't know. But, uh, hope, I hope that kid will do okay. I 
wish the best for him. I'm going to head out now. I'm kind of tripped out. Peace. How the fuck was I ever like this? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate past me. I never want to roleplay this again.